Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well <clears throat> a Libra Rising. Weekly Tarot reading November 4th to a November 10th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle uh, the Tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Libra, that is to be the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the positive, uh, the uh, challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the King of Wands, followed by the third card here which stands for the positive aspect of the week for you, we do have the Temperance card, and then the last one that represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering, we do have the Five of Swords. All right, so um, Ace of Pentacles is going to be catalyzed here in your case with the Devil card. So what we do have in our hands, it is a um, lift off, I would say, or rather like a drop off, a blockade that you are facing up until this moment, let's say, to chase a particular um, goal of yours. So uh, take it that way, it is that at that point throughout this week, you are to have the necessary influence or necessary circumstances, or if you will, the necessary power to a um, manifest these certain circumstances which will allow you to further your goal, whatever that goal is, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. And um, <clears throat> solo based on that, you are to experience quite a lot of a, a content and as well exhilaration uh, throughout the week itself, seeing that things are finally starting to happening the way you want them to happen. That is a very important thing, thing to be acknowledged. Um, <clears throat> now, as you are going to have the influence and as well the circumstances on your side throughout this week, it will be quite advisable here to maintain as much as you can a uh, harmony into your relationships and as well to chase certain success into business. It does look like that this is your week, Libra. I mean, you, you get to do whatever you like and hopefully at the end uh, you are to find yourself in a rather wealthy position and under wealthy position i mean that could be you know emotionally satisfiable position <clears throat> or materially gaining full gaining full position and etc etc now as i said that it will be advisable for you to uh, try to maintain a harmony into your relationship i'm saying that because we do have the challenges here which is a um, person that stands and uh, King of Wands is going to be accompanied with the um, with the strength card. Now it does look like that. Uh, well, this is a, a very ambitious a um, a person, someone who is uh, 
kind of used to put uh, direct uh, directives okay this is someone who 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 is used to boss people around and whatever that person king of one says it has to go simply i mean they don't they, they, with with this combination in general uh this person does not like to explain themselves why why you have to do something for them or why you have to do particular things for them as well and why you have to follow them also so what happens here as a challenge it is that um it, it looks like that this person takes a path uh into this um into this goal of yours or the chase of that specific a goal of yours and uh, challenging wise it will be for you to convince this king of wands that your goal it's really worth it okay and as well by convincing the king of wands you need to adopt a balanced position in regards to him so in other words he should not find a way or you should not allow him or give him a, a way or a, um, a, a a predisposition i would say to boss you around but instead instead you both need to be on a uh, equal measures in regards to this uh, to this undertaking now important here the thing here to say is that this is a very uh, it's a person with a high temper so it yells a lot uh, it's a, it usually outbursts a lot as well but it as well quickly burns out so it's kind of like um, there are those moments with uh, this king of wands that he, he i'm saying he because it's a king but it could be as well a woman you know um uh, he could say things that he doesn't really mean and that is purely from a, a frustration and that is as well something that's um kind of like uh, you also need to overcome as a uh, challenge to not not to get not to get it very personal i would say so uh, the uh, next card which stands for the positive aspect that is going to be the temperance and it is accompanied here by the eight of swords so we do have an active uh, friends in this position and it looks like that this go of yours is also going to be accompanied with a lot of chores now luckily it looks like that you will have or you are to see no problem whatsoever to attend to those chores accepting them as a uh, inseparable part from the endeavor itself recognizing that if you don't do those chores you can't proceed forward with your goal to have stable relationship you know to have a successful business and and, and so on and so forth as a matter of fact with these two cards it looks like that you are to find just the right way you know how to balance with everything that you do have uh, that you do have at your platter uh, including this person a king of uh, that manifests itself as a king of wands and even better the temperance it kind of like divulges a um, tolerance into people's opinion into people's uh, ambition into people's agenda as well and instead of feeding up the argument with the king of wands you are most likely to show a solidarity toward him or toward her which is going to have a, a very healing quite a very healing effect upon the relationship that you can have with this person who could appear as your boss business partner a lover you know husband wife and uh, so on and uh, so forth now important thing here um with the positive aspect is that you are also going to recognize that um, you simply can't cut any corners at that particular uh, at that particular endeavor right and um, um long story short uh, is that you are going to attend to its entirety all right you, you you are going to dive into the entirety of the undertaking instead of being picky in regards to the chores and the pleasant um the pleasant enterprises 
that are into the endeavor itself. So uh, it looks like that you are to attend with a high conscientiousness in regards to uh, in regards to the goal that appears in front of you. And the final card here it is the guidance, and we do have the five of swords that it is accompanied with the five of cups. So we do have double fives. These are a active enemies, <clears throat> active neutrals. Excuse me. And uh, what is a good thing about the number five? It is that it usually uh, signifies a, a reversal. What I mean is that a um, situations or an aspects into certain situations which are look terrible at that particular stage, they could be reversed into a more positive, um, in toward a more positive outcome. But these two cards here are more. Uh, advising you not to dwell into a temporary setbacks, into temporary losses or into temporary uh, disappointments, I would say, but instead uh, focus more upon a um, focus more upon your um, your personal capabilities. OK, uh, in a sense of that disappointments, uh, setbacks and uh, uh, losses are going to come only if you go beyond your capabilities or exceed your expectations that goes beyond your capabilities. So you have to be very true with yourself, what you can achieve with the current circumstances, with the current means that you do have and the current experience and abilities that you also possess. So aim just as high as you can reach and do not aim any higher than that for a particular milestones moving on forward. So that being said, a Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading November 4th to November 10th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.